photograph. You're back on the Global Business Report. Now, if you love uh, taking pictures, you can turn your photo taking interest, talent, and hobby into a home based photography business. While you may be good at photography, before you jump in and start charging for picture taking services, research and plan your business strategy for greater success. Uh, joining me in the studio to discuss this is a renowned Nigerian photographer, Yechundi Ayeni Babaiko. It's good to have you with us, Yechundi. Thank you. Thanks All right, uh, good. Let's uh, talk about photography as a business. Uh, can be said to be a niche one. Uh, how lucrative is this business in Nigeria, you think? Mm. Well, I think what I have to say is mm. yes and no. All right. Because it really depends on the individual. It depends on how, what kind of person you are. Mm. Uh, let's face it, Nigeria is a country that defies all logic and <laughs> no harm you really. Say that again. <laughs> yes, yes. So we have in Nigeria we have the worst roads but mm. the best cars. We yeah. have doctors who can't afford a meal. We have mm. lawyers who can't afford the shirt on their back. The same in photography. Mm. I've met photographers and I've met photographers. Yeah. So it's all about how you position yourself. Mm. And it's all about how you carry yourself, how mm. you define yourself. And you know, in business, there's demand and there's supply. Indeed, it is. Yeah. We photographers, we have another variable we are struggling with. Let me call that one style. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, if clients want to book you, mm. so there is a demand, and they just go and go and pick mm. up their phones yeah. and call somebody. Mm. They want to call somebody who, with whom they can identify with. All right. Who speaks their same language yeah so for you as a photographer it's really how you position yourself yeah. how you sell yourself how you package yourself mm -hmm. and um, really photography is very psychological so there's not just numbers mm. it's really your love for it and your passion, passion for it. you know there's something that Jay-Z said I'm not a businessman <laughs> <laughs> I'm a business <laughs> man yeah. and that applies to so many people in yeah. our industry media entertainment photography we can't see ourselves like business people or accountants mm. who check and analyze their ledgers yeah. for us it's really about the love for it mm -hmm. how we carry ourselves and yeah how we go out there and align with people mm. we are people persons yeah, and we have to have a good package, we have to have a good service. Uh, networking mm -hmm. is key, how you network yourself. Um, yeah, then how you advertise in the media, social media is yeah. really, really big. And yeah, so before you now mm -hmm. <laughs> jump into photography, mm -hmm. you have to really analyze yourself, wow. what kind of person you are. And then, yeah, and, and if you're doing well and positioning yourself, then yeah. success will come. I guess you could call that mm -hmm. soul searching and photography. What a wonderful mix. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at competition, which is an inevitable part of business, as mm. it were. Is it harder being a woman in a male-dominated business? Mm. I'm sure a whole lot of people would like to uh, know that. To know that. Mm. Well, um, no, I don't think so. All right. At the beginning, it actually even helped me okay. because I started photography in Nigeria in 2004. 2004 in Nigeria was a whole different ball game. Yeah, and and <coughs> because I was like really standing out as a female photographer, it actually even helped me, I truly confess. And then it also helps you with shoots, intimacy, you know, for instance, mm. many people, especially for weddings yeah. or family shoots or dealing with mm. children, they trust female photographers a bit more than our male con counterparts. Yeah. When it now comes to the hard work, right, because photography is also physically very strenuous, Indeed. of course, the, the men have a bit of an edge over us, especially right. when it's long hours, the, the equipment is, is very heavy. But, you know, as a woman as well, what I've learned is to deal mm -hmm. with it. First of all, I work out a lot as well, yeah. so <laughs> I do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and then also I have assistants who, who can help me and uh, we, we share our loads. And um, every female photographer that I see out there, I, I always, I heal them. Mm -hmm. They are doing a, a good job, a tough job. Long working hours, you have to be flexible. Okay. That also comes uh, into play later. But you define your hours, yeah. as it were. You define yeah. the way you work and everything. Yeah, 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 okay. I define. And um, yeah, so, so as a female photographer, long working out hours, being flexible, especially later when you're married yeah. with the kids and all that, mm -hmm. it, it gets a bit tricky. Yeah. But um, 
if you have the love for it, like I said earlier, if you have the love for it and the passion for it, you always find a way around it. Indeed, you will. Yes. Now, let's talk about uh, you know, the specifics on your photography, your style as a change agent to document and educate women about breast cancer, uh, urbanism, and other worthy courses. Tell us uh, more about that. Yes. Um, you know, I'm an advertising photographer. Okay. That's what I studied. In, in Germany. All right. That's how I continued when I came back to Nigeria and opened my studio. Mm. And as an advertising photographer, I love, I love the challenge, okay. definitely. I, I love the, the, the tricky part, the technical part, mm -hmm. overcoming challenges and problems and obstacles yeah. and uh, the, the stressful work, the deadlines. I love all of that. Mm. But then I also love creating my own work. Because as an advertising photographer, you normally work for ad agencies, mm -hmm. for clients. They tell you what they want okay. and how they want it to look, how they want their product to be in the best light. Mm -hmm. No problem, I can, I can deliver. Right. But then, uh, as a photographer, as an artist, because I also see myself as an artist, I define myself as an artist, I need a counterbalance where I can now share my own ideas, okay. my own wishes, yeah. what I want to do, and in so Niger a, a tinge of uniqueness, as it were. Exactly, you, right. you, you phrased it well. And in Nigeria, you know, when you're living here, you are dealing with lots of different people from all backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you see, as a photographer, you're always out there. So you see social indiscrepancies, right. you, you see social um, injustices, Indeed. and you can't just close your eyes. Mm -hmm. So what I've been doing, I've been using my camera. Okay to support. I've been using my camera to raise funds. I've been using my camera and my talent and my connections yeah. to just make a change in society. Indeed. I think yes. you're, you're doing an excellent work there, if you don't mind Thank me. I didn't. You. Indeed. Thank you. Now, where do you see the future of photography in Africa? Well, um, because you use Nigeria as, yes. a, as a starting point. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, exactly. You know what? Last year I was at a um, the uh, film academy, yeah, and there was a lecturer All right. who said something like he was a cinematographer, so okay. I was learning film, and he was really criticizing photographers mm -hmm. because we photographers we always meddle in our little corners on our own. Yeah. Meanwhile, film it's all about collaboration, Indeed. having big teams and all that. So in Nigeria, I also. First, I was offended, but then I realized when I came back to Nigeria that actually he's true. We're all metal, all we photographers, we are like little islands. And it's, and you know, we say no man is an island. Indeed. So the future of, of Africa is like really, we photographers need to open up. We okay. need to collaborate more. Um, image banks, mm -hmm. if we want to change the view of Africa, if you want to change the perception of Africa, yep. we do it through images and we need to share them. We can't just always be hiding and, and you know, and mm -hmm. holding on to our images. Right. We need to share them. We need to, uh, uh, internet definitely is key. Uh, we need to share them with stock, stock image banks. They are coming up right now. Um, all the image banks that I've right. looked at so far, international ones, they have been really too focused on um, Caucasian and Western world. Okay. We need to now change the image of Africa. Okay, we need to be very flexible mm, regarding yes, that. All right, yes. uh, on that note, uh, yet indeed, Baba Eko, uh, a photographer and uh, a good one at that. I'd like mm -hmm. to thank you very much for uh, coming to uh, Global Business Reports. Good to have you. Thank you. All right, and that's it on this edition of Global Business Report. Please keep it here on Arise News for, for now. On behalf of the teams, I'd like to thank you for being there. Adi, we know.